ist ein Mensch, der berührt mit seinen nackten Füßen Sand, Steine auf dem Weg zu seiner Hinrichtung. It means something to me. It's not just a story. It's a living tale. It's something that has a, a spirit that is alive in our time. I think the important thing about this piece is that it really connects to the story. James is a believer and that the music comes from the heart and from the belief in Jesus Christ, his crucifixion and what that meant. The main character, in, obviously, in, in this story is Jesus. And the way I wrote it, I wrote it for a baritone singer. But the way that this production is, uh, has come together, um, it involves bringing the baritone into the action. Um, he, does, he, he, he sings, but he interacts with another dimension, another presentation of Jesus, who is the dancer. Wo liegt die Kraft im Zerbrechlichen? Wo liegt die Kraft in der Schwäche? Wo liegt die Kraft in der Demut, in der bewussten Zerbrechlichkeit, in der Hingabe? Und die Ästhetik der ganzen choreografischen Sprache ähm, schöpft, glaube ich, sehr aus dem Spannungsfeld zwischen Bewegung und Stillstand. The, the producer, by combining the two figures, allows uh, different ways in to see the different dimensions of the character of Jesus. And it makes a marvelous counterpart uh, to the music. I'm thrilled to see what the choreographer has done, what the production staff have done uh, with the visual element. Um, it's, uh, it's almost like uh, a Gesamtkunstwerk. Yeah.